guys, what's up? It is your girl, Lock Looney Tune, and yes, I have a lot to talk about. Um, as far as my weight loss journey is concerned, um, do I have any weight loss updates as far as weight is concerned? Not really. I haven't been weighing myself because I can look at my body, look in the mirror, look at myself, and see that I have not lost a significant amount of weight since I have put on the weight from. I guess last year, I guess if you want to say that. What I have done is, um, first thing I've done is join the gym. I have joined Planet Fitness. Yes, that is a revelation for me because it has been at least two or three years since I've actually um, been inside a gym, an actual gym. It's going to be a little difficult getting back into the gym, but Planet Fitness, they... You know, they don't see themselves as being a gym. I don't see us going in there. Like, what they give on this bag? What it say? No gym intimidation. So, I'm hopefully going to go in there and um, I won't feel like an outcast trying to work out once I get in there. It's a brand new Planet Fitness opening up down the street from my house. And I, when I say down the street from my house, I mean like... If I walk down there, it's where you guys have seen me walking. Those of you who follow me, who have been following me for years, those who have been following me since the beginning, um, know of the area that I usually walk in, which is down uh, the street from my house. Uh, those who live in the D.C. area, we call it East Dover. Now, there is a Planet Fitness getting ready to open up over there, and I was so shocked. Like, what? A Planet Fitness is opening up right by my house? I was like, oh, yeah. There's no way in the world that I can walk down here and see Planet Fitness and not join. So, I decided to join the gym. Cost me a dollar to sign up. Gonna be $10 a month. I'm good with that. I may upgrade to the $20 a month package once, um, once I start to lose some weight. That's the first thing. Second thing I want to tell you guys about as far as my weight is concerned is that I have made another appointment with a different doctor this time, a different plastic surgeon for my breast reduction surgery. The first doctor I, uh, the first plastic surgeon that I had uh, consulted with, she wanted me to get down to a weight of 260 pounds and I had almost made it there and for some reason I just couldn't get over that hump. Um, I kept fluctuating between 265, 270 something, and then it just skyrocketed. I got really depressed about it, and then my weight just went up and up, and I just said forget about it, and I just told them never mind. Since then, that was a couple of years ago, and it really hurt my heart, and since then, I've actually put on a lot, a lot of weight. Right now, I am back up to two, no, three... 26 I think and that's the heaviest I've ever been that's also a big shock to me um, well it's not really a big shock but it is like something that's like pow you know I've never been 326 pounds before my highest weight was 320 actually so um, I went to the doctor's office and I weighed in at about 326 and, um, yeah, I got information for a nutritionist, which I, I've had once before, but this time it's, it's, it's detrimental to my health because, as you guys know, I've been going through the whole, uh, acid reflux situation. I've been having sleep apnea again, and, um, I found out, um, through my, um, endoscopy that I have a hiatal hernia. Now, it's not like that is a major thing. Like, I don't have any cancer or anything of the esophagus, but I do have a hiatal hernia in my stomach. You guys, I'm pretty sure you guys can research what that is when you look on Google or um, YouTube or whatever. But just to keep it simple, uh, a hernia in my stomach means that my stomach is protruding up into my chest area like just a little bit it is protruding swollen whatever it's protruding out of the area that it should be in 
it's kind of protruding through another area. So, the doctor tells me that all I really have to do is lose, if I lose a good amount of weight, I guess he said, I don't have to lose a whole lot of weight, but he says weight loss will help that situation as well as, um, no, he says like maybe 20 to 30 pounds or whatever, and that will help the situation with my, um, hiatal hernia. Something else that I have been considering, um, even though I told you guys about the gym membership, even though I'm still out moving and I'm walking and things are getting better, I have had, in the recent past, I've had, um, I guess the pinched nerve in my, uh, left thigh. I've also had my feet was swollen but all those things have gone away because I have become even more mobile and I have been walking a whole lot more. I've also been driving. <laughs> yes, I have been driving. I did not pass my driver's test but I am still driving because I am practicing so I do have my learner's permit and um, my husband is helping me out with that. Yeah, so I'm in the process of maybe driving myself back and forth to the gym, things of that nature, driving myself to different places where I can go walk and stuff like that. I have been considering lap band surgery. Now, hold up. <laughs> before you guys say no, or some of you, I ain't gonna say all of you, before you guys come to me with the no, don't do it, or if some of you say way to go, I applaud both sides, I get, I understand where maybe both sides of you guys are coming from. I have not made a complete hard decision if I am going to get the lap band um, procedure done. I know that a lot goes into it. I have been doing my research and more research. And on top of that, I've been doing even more research. So, yes, I understand that a lot goes into it. I have followed many people on here that have had um, weight loss surgery procedures and things of that nature. I have followed many and try and tried to get as much information as I have. I have not made a complete decision. I have not made a hard decision, but I am considering it. I have never considered it before in like the last four or five years that I've been on this journey. I have never considered it, but because my health is now one of the biggest reasons now that I have to lose weight it becomes an option for me now if my insurance will pay for it it will definitely become an option um like I said I already have an appointment on Monday and today is Thursday you know April 2nd and on Monday this coming Monday I have an appointment to um, consult for a breast reduction which is a uh, surgery that you guys know that have been following me that is a surgery that I have been praying on getting you know what I'm saying there was no one that was going to tell me that I didn't need that I know I need that that was not going to be something that I would not you know bargain with I'm definitely going to get that surgery by hook or by crook I'm going to get it but um the lap band surgery is something that if this surgeon for the breast reduction tells me that I need to drop a certain amount of weight. Um, that's not going to stop me from working out. It's not going to stop me from going to the gym. It's not going to stop me from walking. It's not going to stop me from doing the um, eating right, trying to eat white right, trying to, you know, take control of my portions and things of that. It's not going to stop that. Not going to stop any of that because I still have to learn how to control my eating, you know. And um but the lap band surgery is that it's that thing that's, you know, over here in the corner like mm, you could get this and it might help you out just a little bit more. And the reason why I said now, the reason why I decided to do lap band as opposed to gastric sleeve or gastric bypass, I don't want to be cut. And that's it. Like, I don't want to be, I don't want my stomach to be altered in any way. And that is the reason why I chose um, the banding. You know, the uh, the lap band, um, the gastric banding. 
I chose that because it's something, also it's reversible. They can widen it, you know, I get my fills and things like that. So I have been researching certain things that goes into play with these things. I just know definitely I do not want a gastric bypass. You know, if, if it was a choice between gastric bypass or gastric sleeve and doing it naturally, I would do it naturally. And that's just me. I know I'm not even knocking anyone out there in the weight loss community that has done gastric sleeve or gastric bypass. Not knocking any of you guys because all of us are trying to lose weight together as a whole. All of us have lost weight or are trying to lose weight some type of way. And with that being said, I just want to say congratulations to Ruth. I just want to put that little shout out out there. I saw a girlfriend on the doctors and I was just so proud of her. It made me so proud to see Ruth on the doctors and um, I just want to say congratulations um, on being able to get your skin removal surgery. I know so many of us are so proud of you and I just want to say thank you for encouraging me and on my journey and 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 just really being there for all of us who are really struggling with this weight loss journey and for those of us who are succeeding and those of us who haven't given up. Ruth has been very supportive to many of us and you know I just I just really do appreciate her and it was shocking to see her on the doctors even though she had told us she was going to be on there it was really cool to see her on there so that was just a side note shout out to her getting back to the whole lap band situation I am definitely considering having a lap band surgery and if I if everything goes okay and um, I'm able to drop this weight naturally that's what I would do but I would definitely be getting um, the breast reduction surgery like I said, by hook or by crook. Also, I am going to, um, I'm going to keep you guys updated. You know, for, and this is a perfect month. Like, Veda, day two, Veda day two, this is really good for me. Because, yeah, this whole month I will be doing a whole lot of, um, consulting and getting ready for whatever surgery that I may be having. But I will be keeping you guys updated so I just wanted to come through and share that with you guys because it was so important to me I had been holding it in for a while and I figured wow Veda perfect time to share this with you guys so um with that being said guys until my video tomorrow I will holler at you alright guys peace